My Young Life by McQueen. A story to give hope to girls of ill fortune and lads to everywhere. I was born the natural daughter <coughs> of a rich travelling merchant. He had made his fortune in the spice trade. And my mother, she was an innkeeper. Now, my father, he was a kind man. He would always come and visit us. I remember he would make me laugh. And then he would go on his way and go back to his family. And I was brought up by my mother. She was rather learned by learned all kinds of practical skills. I could polish brass. And I could cook. But when I was eight, a pox came. The smallpox, the black pox, along the roads of the east. And I grew ill. My mother nursed me for weeks. And then just as I was getting better, although well, my face was marked terribly, she fell. And there was nothing we could do. She fell very quick. And on that last night, she was going to be alive. She told me something. <coughs> My dear, my dear, I'm sorry I could spend no more time with you my toes on. But there is one thing that's always been handed down in the women of our family. <coughs> and I want you to have it. Now, I have never had need of it. But just in case, this ring, if ever you really, really need help from another soul, another world, if you like, call upon this ring. The moment we should be better. Oh, my child, it's not for that sort of thing. And I think my time's come. My end of days, but take that and wear it in memory of me. It was a little silver ring, and I could see those right there. Because I couldn't leave it. And I put it next to my skin. When my mother died that day. And my father, bless him, he turned up and he insisted on taking me home to live with my stepmother and my two sisters. Now, my other sister was called Han. But she said, Oh, everyone call me Han, please. I'm not interested in all this girly stuff. Please, can I come off this? Not that. I'm only interested in books, thank you. <coughs> but she might have been beautiful if only she wanted. Oh, who wants to be beautiful? Mm -hmm. And then there was my younger sister. Oh. They called her Lou. Oh, no, it's all for Louise. I and mean, I think it's really Louisiana, or perhaps Elizabeth, or Louise Bell, perhaps. And she so, know. so wanted to. Oh, my hair's always wrong. Oh, it's just oh. awful. I want my face to be like, like, just better. Oh. And then there was my stepmother. Now, don't get this wrong. My stepmother wasn't cruel. At least not subtle. She took one look at me and was moved by pity. Oh, I'll never forgive him. I will never forgive him for being such a very important boy. But the poor little mite. Look at her. Look at her. But look at her face. And it's not. And when well, I was a little waif and stray, with a pockmarked face, oh, bless you. she tortured me almost as if I was her. But then I grew up. I grew to be beautiful. The pockmarks faded. I think she's getting to be even better looking than my Hannah. That's not quite right. Not right at all. And when my stepmother discovered that I really didn't mind cleaning, and I liked cooking, she said. I think you can take all the household chores on now. And when I sat there cleaning happily, she grew furious. So she started to make me do all the really dirty tasks, all the foul tasks, all the filthy tasks. And she'd make me clean the chimneys again and again and again, and she would laugh. I think we'll just call you cinders now instead of cindish, aren't we, girls? And Lou and... Dear old Pam looked up from her book and said, Oh, uh, what about... That's not very nice. What's the book, by the way, Han? Oh, uh, it's uh, Vindication of the Rights of Man. It's a jolly good read. What about Vindication of the Rights of Women? Oh, there might be one of those. Jolly good point, Cindy. I'll look that up. Yes, yeah. And when she was told to call me Cinders, dear old Lou, she said, Oh, Cinders, that's a bit... Well, what about Cinderella? That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> So she called me Cinderella from then. But ours wasn't the only house where things went wrong. Up and down the land, in the great houses and the little. 
life went on, quarrels happened. At that very moment, in the greatest house of all, the king was furious with his son. We call you charming, but you have just been really rude to all those princesses. You're charmless. But Papa, they are, I have never met such a man. Where they are not trivial, they are selfish. Where they are not selfish, they are vindictive. Where they are not vindictive, they are stupid. I can't bear them, any of the ones that but you've made they're me. they're princesses. Well, that doesn't give them license to be all those things. There must be one clever, kind-hearted person amongst them that's beautiful as well. What? And you must marry them. One of them. Oh, I want to marry a woman I love, and failing that, a woman I can at least like. Well, technically, you don't have to marry a princess. Well, you could I could make anyone a princess if they were a gentleman's daughter. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. Can't we hold a ball and just invite every woman of marriageable age of a certain social standing? All right. But to justify the expense, yes. if it doesn't work and you don't like them, I'm going to marry you for one that's most convenient to me, the Queen of Ireland. God, she's like a sort of maid. She'll put a peg in your skin. Bang, bow. No, I can't stand her. But All right, the but prince then. had nothing else but to do. <coughs> and so the invites were sent out, and in our house there was such a fluster. My stepmother was full of scheme. Oh! I'm sure you'll choose my Hannah. But Hannah didn't want to have anything to do with it. I had to go and find her in the hayloft. Mm. We had to bring her down. I don't want to be married. I'm not interested in princes, charming or otherwise. And I had to make her hair as she screamed and Oh screamed. my God, Cindy, get off. I don't Cindy. care what, you know what your mother said. I don't care what mother said. And as the poor old blue. She's an idiot. Oh, Cindy, I just, I just, I just wish I looked different. I'm like carrying way where I should, and I'm sure. Oh, lovely. And I keep trying not to eat anything, but I really like cake, and I hate it. I just hate it. I wish I could cut your face off with a pen and I would put it on my own. Oh. And what with expense and facelifts and creams and stuff, ah. it started to get very, 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 very expensive. And I suddenly thought to myself, hang on, nobody's worrying about me. So I asked my stepmother, am I coming? Oh, I'm so sorry, Cindy. I, I think we've spent all the money. I don't think there's anything left for you. I'm sorry, dear girl, you'll have to stay at home, I'm afraid. And off they went, tough flying car. But before they left, dear old hand, the gift for me. Oh, vindication of the rights of women. I've got it. Mary. Wollstonecraft, it's a great read. Both. I'll do my best. Yeah, have a good evening, Cindy. Sorry about this. And Lou promised something. Oh, Cindy, I'll bring you back like a cake. That's what I'll bring you back. I'll bring you back a cake. Oh. And off they rode. I wish you could come. And I spent my time fretting and thinking and worrying. Just think they've arrived. Just think they've met the prince. And for the very first time in my life, I started to really miss my mother. Just then. I felt something cold against my breast. And I looked out and the evening star was shining. And I reached in and I took out the ring. And by the evening star I could read, Hold me up to starlight and greet who comes there. So I held the ring up to the starlight and the star shone through. And suddenly out of it came someone. Hi, honey. What? You called? Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. What is it you wanted? I didn't know I had one of them. Oh, yeah. Everybody who owns that ring has a fairy godmother and she's me. Oh, well, I quite wanted to go to a ball. A ball? A ball? What's a ball? I'll have a look at my crystal ball. I'll have a look at this new ball. Oh, my God. That looks so formal. Are you sure? You don't want to come with me to Vegas? How do we go to Vegas? Vegas? Rocked out the boat and suddenly ah! we were back in Vegas three months ago. Oh, honey, we were in the hotel with the uh, with the roller coaster in the foyer. Don't you just love it? Oh, and it was quite an experience.
experience, and of course my godmother cheated at roulette. Oh yeah, once more. <laughs> and every time she cheated, you could hear old Father Time and the clocks fretting a bit. No, never mind. I can get past him. It's fine. And actually, do you know something? I discovered I was very good at poker. Gee, honey, see, you learn something new every day. I knew you'd enjoy it. I knew you'd love it. And in three months, I told <coughs> my brother, I was like, I really do have to go to that ball, but I feel so icky and sticky. Oh, I know what you mean. Do you know, I was reading one of the magazines oh, you gave me. Yes. About the saunas. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Up in the Sweden. Oh, yeah, that would be really cool. Wait a minute, I can, I can do that. And I can make sure that it's, it's three weeks ago. And suddenly she bent time. Big man, pal. There were uh, three weeks before. Lying in a sauna. Oh, fantastic. This is amazing. You're absolutely right. This is so all we needed. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. right. And a hot tub. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I love the hot mug. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Volcanic. Oh, you were so right at detox. That's all we needed. Yeah, this is and for three weeks, we detoxified. Oh, and at the end of it, I got a real nag in the back of my head. And I said, look, you can't annoy all Father Time anymore. But, but I, we've really got to go to that ball. Well, but you need to, you need better dance moves for a ball. You really do. And I can take us back, I can take us back to last week and give us a long weekend in Ibiza. Before I can say yes or no, Be suddenly. Be right now, now. <laughs> 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 We were dancing. <laughs> the night, <laughs> the weekend away in Ibiza. <laughs> And at the end of it, oh. it was absolutely exhausting. Oh, wasn't that fabulous? It was, but really, I don't have to go to that. Oh, point. okay, let's go back to your home. Bing, bing, we're back to our home. Oh. And as we came to the home, oh, my godmother suddenly, suddenly swore. Oh, no. Oh, no. Magic, or at least my magic. It's like the mobile phones of the future. You sort of get a data allowance. You've annoyed old Father Time. I've kind of used a lot of my No, you've annoyed old Father Time. You don't keep rubbing it in, honey. I But I do need something to work on. Have we got any kind of circular structure of any kind that could kind of turn into a pumpkin? pumpkin turn into a pumpkin? Yes! I mean, in carriage. Oh, of course I can. I could turn that pumpkin into a carriage. Watch out, though. There's a trot and some rats in. One, two, three, four, five, six, bing, bang, pow, pow, bang! That's a wonderful gold carriage. Isn't it just? Now, the toad and the rat <coughs> are nice and stuff. You're going to need a footman and a driver and all that kind of thing. I'll just have a word with them and ask their permission. Um, Oh, wow. Gosh, look at that. Blind. I wish you and I could dance. I, I, 
absolutely love a dance. Who the hell are you? You look like you need to learn how to dance properly. Really? I shall just go and tell the musicians how to play. Gosh. And I taught them about beats. And she went up and she, she had a word with the orchestra and then it was... And we danced and danced and danced. And I made the lights flash backwards and forwards. Oh my goodness, she's been to Ibiza. And, and, and she's been to Las Vegas. She's, she's been everywhere. She's been to you know, to the Campbell as well. My word, what a girl. Oh, I found the one for me. But just as I he was about to say something. I don't suppose I... Uh, Suddenly, the clock started to chime, and I felt the count, and I was thinking, I hope it's eleven. Bong, bong. Oh, look, I'm here, I shouted, and ran up the stairs. No! Where did she go? And just on the twelfth strike, Oh, no! What everything was gone. Where is she? My carriage was turned into a mouldy culprit There's with nothing toes here. and rags. And I was in my rags. <sighs> my red, ragged skirt from Ibiza. And the prince came up, but as I went down the stairs, one of my ill-fitting oh. slippers had fallen from my feet, and old father time had missed it, because it wasn't on my body. I'll keep it forever. And he was holding it. And he came up to me and said, A young lady, I, I don't suppose you saw a, a beautiful princess-like woman out here? No, I didn't. Oh, so I do you have got a bit of money for a... Oh, of course. Out of all the gold I've got, you poor thing. There you go. Well, if you do see a knock on the palace door, let me know. I found the one for me. Oh, good night. Oh. He gave me a gold piece. He's actually coming. So I went home. Well, Hannah and Lou, and my, God, my stepmother, arrived, and they were all in bad tempers. Oh, Hannah attacked me. Oh, I managed to get away without marrying anyone. Thank and Lou was up. Oh, it's awful. This beautiful girl came to you. was so amazing. And like, and nobody notices me at all. Oh. And my stepmother was frankly poisonous. <coughs> I don't know who that young woman was. And Hannah, you could have been more polite. Oh, God. But up in the palace, things were not going well either. There was the king saying, Right, you haven't found anyone to marry. But I did. Look and I can find her with this shoe. Let me go around to all the houses in our kingdom. You've got a weekend to do it. I'll find her if it's the last thing I do. She must fit this shoe. Only one person will fit it. And off he went, looking oh. for people to fit the shoe. And at long last he came to our house. And there was Hannah, and she refused to go anywhere near the shoe. She just held up a big foot and put it next to it. Oh, no, quite right. You won't fit it. All right. I'm poor old Lou. She's the absolute best to squeeze her foot in. Oh, I can't fit it. Nothing ever goes right for me. Oh, poo. And then the prince turned to me and said, well, You haven't tried it yet. It's true, my father. I share a father with you. Well, then you're a pretend woman. Please, try on the Before my stepmother could stop me, I put it on. And of course. It's you, isn't it? But will you? Not will really you. Oh, oh, I will absolutely. On one condition. Yes? Yeah, I mean. Oh, absolutely. And so we were married then and there. And we had our honeymoon in Ibiza. And we came back. And we're as happy as you can be in this old old world of ours. So, dear reader, I married him. <laughs> Let that be a comfort in all your down. Always wish upon a star and look for a change.